guys good evening these are your cards for friday february 7th 2020 it's been a crazy week thank you guys for being patient with me for all of you that paid for readings thank you for blessing me and my family i really appreciate it congratulations again to annabelle she got her giveaway reading this week as well um any of you that have requested um to have your um channel messages mailed out um, I'm going to try and get that ready tonight and hopefully, because we have a storm coming in, 30 to 40 centimeters. So I'm going to try my darndest to, um, to, um, get those out, to get those in the mail. But with the snowstorm, I, I can't guarantee it. So the first card is fourth chakra Archangel Raphael. So this is dealing with our soul. You know, answering what our soul has been pulling us to. And I feel like my soul is pulling me to a certain direction this week. And they said they needed me to do something. And I made that into fruition today. Um, you know, that's why I say really honor in your intuition. Honor spirit when they tell you to do certain things. Like, you know, donations or helping out someone. Because oh, Seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel. So some of us are caught up in our head, I feel. I feel like, especially with the full moon coming up on the 9th, and we have the Mercury retrograde, I believe it's the 14th, which is Valentine's Day, which is kind of spooky, and until March, it's like a lot of the energy, and people are just acting like, not like their usual selves, you know? So just, remember, we're like crystals, we absorb other people's energy, so just be mindful of that. So indecision in the reverse, so it's like, before you didn't know what to, which direction to go, Spirit is saying, we're guiding you what, which way to go. I felt that this week, I was just like, you know, maybe I have to stop doing certain things in my life because it was getting so crazy around here. And some, I just had faith and trust in, and that's something I have put on my vision board, that things will, 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 will recalibrate. We're going to recalibrate and, you know, we'll figure things out. And sure enough, it worked, you know, just, you know, um, me being able to recharge over again the temple path so it's just like like i said following your intuition you're going to be you will be led on the right path you will know where to go i was like you know they asked me to do something i said point me in what what direction to go they pointed me in that direction and i trusted and i made that into fruition today and it's not about getting back it's about honoring everything that they have given to me so like i said a lot of you that have been following me from the beginning know that in 2019, the very beginning, the 2018 Christmas was really hard on me. Um, you know, holidays are hard because like, you know, my late husband is not here with us in the physical world, but it made that conscious decision to be like, I am not going to allow this to keep me down. And, you know, and then spirit started speaking to me more, sending me messages, channel messages, Trusting those channel messages, delivering those channel messages, and, you know, it just blew up into what it is now. And that's why I'm so incredibly grateful to all of you that have blessed me and my family with the paid readings, um, the generous, the generosity of the tips. Um, I, I cannot thank you all enough. Like, seriously, it means the world to me. It shows me, like, I keep seeing signs that this is my passion this is my path. And sometimes when, you know, certain comments are made or um, shade is is put upon me, it's like, am I really on the right path? Or is this just something that, you know, is just another um, kind of, you know, phase in my life. And I'm glad to see that this is my passion, especially when I did a reading this week and they said this is kind of like therapy. And, you know, just hearing how, you know, it healed them. And how much it meant to them. It really touches my soul. And that means more to me. That is so priceless. Honestly. I cannot put a price tag on that. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. So I'm pulling from the Energy Oracle card deck. This is one of my favorite decks. My These are like Game of Thrones, um, Astrology Answers, Master Tarot deck, and the Energy Oracle deck are like my go-to cards. Because the Energy Oracle deck talks about what is wrong with us when they highlight. They say in the reverse... But I notice in my readings, like it also rings true in the positive. So I feel like a lot of us are feeling anxiety or some of us are feeling our soul is pulling us to something. 
And like I said, listen to your intuition. What are they pulling you towards? Quiet your mind and you will hear what they want you to do. So the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael, love, compassion, and self-acceptance. Raphael extends a beautiful green energy surrounded by gentle waves of pink to your heart center. So rose court, I was pulled to put, um, I have gauged ears, which are the, you know, the big, like stretched ears where it's the big hole in your ears. Mine's a half inch. So it's easier for me to wear crystals. So I put a, a rose quartz in one side of on one ear. And then on the other, I put an amethyst. Um, light work 2332 so was talking about this, that we have feminine and, and, and masculine energy. So you could put one crystal in one pocket and one crystal in the other pocket to balance you out. So I felt like, you know what, I, I feel like I'm ready to like, I don't know, date someone, but like maybe talk some, with someone and have company again by my side. So I was like, I'm going to bring love back to me and amethyst just to like, keep it, you know, keep it chill, keep it mellow, you know? So it's like, that's something we can do right now, especially when they said gentle pinks of, 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 to your heart, that it's like rose cord is like, it's bringing love back to your heart again, bringing love back to yourself. This card upright indicates that you now have a great readiness to receive love from others as well as from yourself. It can also indicate that a much needed healing from previous heartbreak is taking place. The tender vibrations of Raphael's of Raphael remind you to encourage yourself with the compassionate self-talk you desire to hear from others. So if you are ready to move on, like, you know, you've been divorced or you've been out of a relationship after a long time or whatever the case may be, if you feel like you're ready to move forward, only you can tell and don't let anyone else's opinion matter because only you know when you're ready. Know that you do. The light from your heart center will shine with an existential beauty and the universe will send people and situations that cause your in your sense of love and support to grow and grow. So to me, it's like, you know, it's like universe will put those people in your path. You know, some of us are on dating apps or whatnot, but it's like, I kind of want to meet someone that's like, like organic. Like I, I'm at the store and it's someone that I've talked to before or we've, you know, maybe I made eye contact before, but one of us actually take that leap. I'm very shy. So I used to take those leaps. I used to like write guys love letters and stuff, but then they would pass it around to all their buddies and have a good chuckle at my expense. So, you know, I kind of pull away from that, but you know, being, you know, almost 40, like I'm 40 this year. So it's like, you know, I don't really care anymore. <laughs> you know, like if you're going to sit there and have a chuckle at my expense, that's fine. But at least I can know in my heart of hearts that I gave it a chance. So we have Archangel Uriel. So Uriel is the fire of God. I love, love, love Uriel. Um, she also is the keeper of the ascended records, the mass, like the master, like wisdom. And this is so like, reminds me of JJ constellations that she has that kind of information of the universe in her. So reverse with me, her crown is lit up. So a lot of us are in her head. So this could also be like migraines. I feel like it's migraines because they're showing me like someone sensitive to the light. It's sunlight and to also to like uh, the UV light, like when you go into stores and stuff, I'm also hearing ringing in my ears as well. So um, something, I know someone that suffers from migraines, it's like put your feet in cool water, your hands, and then put like a cool pack on the back of your neck. And that kind of takes it away. When I have a, like, a really bad mig migraine, it's very rare when I have them. But when I do, I like to keep it dark. Like I like lay in bed, even if I'm not sleeping and I keep it really dark. So that way, like I pull like my hoodie over my face or something. So that way it's just, it can just calm down. I usually wear my hair up. I'll put my hair down. Just certain, just, I tell the kids like, keep it quiet. Cause I have a migraine and just, you know, have a real chill day. So just be mindful and take care of yourself, especially with the full moon energy. I feel like it might be heightened and Mercury uh, retrograde happening soon. It's like the energy is kind of, it's like the build up to it. So you might feel off. So it, it, everyone is kind of weird. It, everyone's different the way, the way they react to it. So this reversed, this card reverse indicates a block to your own intuition and to the, uh, the potential help and power from spirit world. So maybe you're doubting yourself. And I know I read for someone that they're doubting themselves. And I'm like, you know what? The more you trust it, I got a reading. The, the gentleman was six pages and I was just like, oh my gosh, is this just a bunch of jibber jabber? I was so worried that I was maybe like it wouldn't resonate or it offend him or something. 
And I just said, okay. I said, what do you want first? And I told him, I said, you know, I just want to be respectful. And he's like, just lay it out there. And I told him everything. And he's just like, yep, 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 yep. Even things that I didn't even think would resonate, resonated with him. So I was like, thank God. I was so worried I was going to offend him or, you know, be like, what? Like, he, like it's, it was his first time with a, a medium and, um, or a tool of empath. And he, I was just so happy that he was happy with it. And I was just, thank God. They actually asked me to send them their channel messages to them because his wife and him had, um, had readings with me. So, you know, if you're not aware of that, that is something I will do for you because I feel like it's just like some things that didn't resonate may resonate later. And it's just wonderful to look back on, you know, like I know some mediums record it and they send it and it's like good thing. You know, it's nice to l listen back to it. I never have listened back to my reading because I make notes, but it's just like, you know, it's just like a nice healing that takes place. Perhaps you fear opening up to that side of your life, or perhaps it's just something that you, it seems foreign or unrealistic. And this is exactly what rings true with a reading that I had with someone this week. They were like, I'm worried, you know, that it's not authentic, or I'm worried that it's something else. And I'm like, no, it's definitely there. Definitely listen to it. And I was the same way when it first happened. I'm just like, what the hell? I would hear someone call my name. And I tell people, it's like, you know, just like the Bible, God calls to you or the angels call to you. They're like, you just say, here I am. I, I hear you. I know you're there. Just acknowledge them and see what happens. Like, what's the worst that happens? They talk back and say, hey, how's it going? How's your day going? Either way, it's time to awaken to the beauty and power of this realm. See your crown chakra spin in a beautiful violet or white light and call upon Uriel's passion and power to help bring this connection into being. Call upon... Once you open up to this incredible peace and power that spirit can bring, your life will never be the same. And it's not. It is so beautiful. You know, there are some downsides to it, like especially when people are being shady and making their stupid comments. And then you doubt yourself. It's like there's going to be days like that. But you know what? You find yourself a good tribe. You find yourself a good circle of friends that you can vent to and say, like, you know what? I did this reading this is what happened or like not personal effects, but it's just like, this is what the comment they said that really put me off or, you know, you do lives and some people will come on and be shady. And it's just like, you know, some a good tribe you can vent to. So our next card is indecision. <laughs> it's like the red riding hood because of her scarlet. So this could be fire signs, the scarlet red, um, uh, cloak she's wearing. So it's like, do I go left? Do I go right? So our fire signs are Sagittarius because I remember that from a reading this week. Sagittarius, Leo, and Aries. I should remember that. One of my best, best girls is an Aries. I always forget that. I always assumed Aries was an air sign. I don't know why. Congratulations. This rever this card reverse indicates a, f a newfound freedom from indecision. You have either recently made or are just about to make an important decision. This is an, this is an important time. So bring a clarity of consciousness to your new direction. A fragmented and confused energy that you've been sending out is gone. And now you can bring a new structure to plans and your life. So I feel it very much like this week. I was like, <coughs> what do I do? Do I have to make some major decisions here? Do I have to give up some things? And then it was like, nope, it all worked out. It's just like, you know what? That day was just, you know, it was just out of nowhere. The day was like, you know kind of um, got over un, overbooked, I guess you would say, unexpectedly, but it worked out anyway. So it's just like, don't get overwhelmed with it. Just go with the flow and everything will work out. So I'm just very thankful for that because I was just like recalibrating. What do we do now? I like, was just like, do I have to make some major decisions here? And it's like, nope, it's fine. You know, we worked it out. Everything, you know, we're, like I said, we're just recalibrating. And it's just like, it's just, it's just a new path we found ourselves on. Not to freak out very much like the Enchanted uh, Tarot deck where the little boy gets lost in the woods. And instead of sitting there and running around the woods and risking getting hurt or getting prucked by the bumble bushes, which are like thorny bushes, he sits down at the base of a tree and he sits there and he's like, what landmarks stand out for me? What can I do to make the, what can I do to get out of this, this situation? So that's very much so what I did. I said, instead of freaking out, let's just calm down. You know, do what we got to do and we'll figure it out. I was exhausted by the end of the day, but we still figured it out. You may not know what to do in the past, but your soul has been trying to guide you all along. Open up to the potential of this time and create some clear, powerful intentions regarding your new choice. 
then let yourself move forward with purpose and personal power. Very much so. You know, people may give you opinions, but it's not what suits you. You follow your intuition. You do what suits you. You know, because at the end of the day, you're going to have to look yourself in the mirror. And it's like, you got to live with those decisions. People can put their input in saying like, you know, this is what I feel. And that's fine. Everybody's entitled to an opinion. That's why we have friends. That's why we have family. You know, it's like, you know, this is what's going on in my life. I just want to, you know, an outside perspective. Maybe I'm not seeing things the way that maybe you would. You know, trusted people that you know would make a decision for the best of yourself and your family and your business. And it's like, you know, just gather that information and then make your own decision that you feel comfortable with. That you can look yourself in the mirror every day saying like, yes, this is the best decision for me. Our last card, the temple, excuse me, the temple path. Very much what I was saying. You followed the right path and it's like leaving, leading to this beautiful you know, this is a gazebo, but it's going to lead you to this where you want to go, that bright future, because they're shining like the spotlight. It feels like the spotlight. Spiritual purpose and support. Receiving this card represents your own spiritual evolution. The winding path you are on to a blessed temple is in a loving garden, symbolizing the spiritual destiny your soul has had in mind for this lifetime. This card upright is here to tell you that you are going through now is part of your soul's purpose. You are on your karmic path heading the right direction, headed in the right decision, direction, excuse me. And the choices you make now are important for your personal growth and life lesson. The lights around the temple represent the spiritual world, your family members and friends, angels and guides, all the loving spirits, helpers who long to assist you. Call upon them to, and be able to take open to their wisdom and inspiration. Also thank them when they sit there. It's like, like I'm reading here. That's one thing. It's like, oh my gosh, what at a time? Like I, that's why I started carrying like a uh, paper and a pen with me writing down what they say. Cause it's like, I start reading and I'm like one second and I'll write it down so I don't forget it. And I keep reading. So excuse me, I don't lose my train of thought. So it's just like, you know, right when I'm reading this, they're telling me like, remember to thank us acknowledge us and that's what i was saying with the with the archangel uriel it's like they're we're, we're trying to speak to you very much like in the bible where god calls upon jacob or are any of those um individuals that were that have uh um a chapter in the bible and they're like here i am and then they start telling him listen you need to leave here you're in danger or listen this is what you need to do your wife is going to have a child and you need to name your child this to honor god so it's very much when you hear them say, I, I like, here I am. I honor you. I, I, I hear you. Like, how are you doing? I hear you. N you know, nice to meet you. Like, just acknowledge them. If you are ready to do that. If you are not, then you could just say, listen, I'm not ready. You know, I told a couple of individuals this this week. I said, if you're not ready, I said, just tell them, listen, I'm not ready. And they will understand. I was not ready for a very long time. Like, it scared the bujizis out of me. But when Teresa Caputo told me the shadows that I see were actually, is actually my sight that has not come into, um, into focus, I guess you would say. I wasn't so scared anymore. When I feel a presence, there's actually a presence there. It's just maybe they're not ready for me to see them. Or, you know, there's someone that may I, maybe I've read for and maybe that presence is still there, you know, so it's okay. Like, honestly, if you're not ready for it, you just let them know. Just say, listen, I'm not ready for this. Or this is something that scares me. They'll understand. But like they're saying in Uriel and in the Temple Path, they're saying that spirit is trying to guide you to your life's purpose. This is what you are meant to do in this life. And this, you know, I believe we live multiple lives. And it's like you probably had this gift in your past lives too. It was just much easier, you know, as we evolve, like, you know, to going to conquer where we were going, like, you know, um, horse and buggy and now we're concrete in cars it's like you know it's just harder to tune into those gifts you know with wi-fi and everything electronics all these things to preoccupy us away from you know those channel messages and spirit it's like if you're not ready they totally understand that you know they respect that it's like you know what they're not ready that's totally fine just like they respect the fact that when you acknowledge them it's like i hear you like how are you like you know this is a wonderful life expanding time. So keep your mind and your personal priorities as well as your spiritual connection. 
following your higher intentions will help you move your life forward in dramatic ways and connecting with spirit and your higher self will have a wonderful influence on that you experience. So I'm just going to read the affirmation for this. A lot of like listening and being connected to spirit. And I feel like that's what a lot of like, was it two people, maybe three, maybe three that I read for this week. It's just like, you know, they're talking about this. Like, you know, if you're ready, we're here. And if you're not, that's totally okay. We'll take a step back. I open my heart to my spiritual truth and deeper connection with spirit. Guidance and inspiration come freely and easily to me. And that's what I'm saying. If you are ready, then, you know, just acknowledge them and let them know I'm ready. You know, if you're not, acknowledge them and tell them you're not ready. You know, and when they do come to you, just say thank you for being there for me. You know, thank you for giving me that insight or thank you for that message. Especially as healers, it's like, you know, thanking spirit, you know, for helping us out because it wasn't for them. Like we wouldn't have the sight and the hearing that we do. So we have two here for the Moonology deck. The answer you need are coming. Full moon and Gemini. Gemini is June. The answers you need. So answers. So it's going to be one more than one answer. So full moon. I believe that's like, um, yeah, flourish, gloom, gloom, bloom, groom, flourish, bloom, and harvest. Gratitude, reap rewards. Very much is gratitude when you you thank the angels. This is kind of like a, no, this is Virgo. Kind of looks like Gemini. A time to give rather than take. Very nice. Full moon in Virgo. Very much what I was called to do. Last card. Look at the bigger picture. Full moon in Sagittarius. So, so this is a full moon. So, oh no, full moon. Okay, so we got two full moon cards. Very much about gratitude and harvesting. And then we have the new moon. New moon. New beginnings. Uh, gather thoughts. Plan. So new begin. I got that a lot this week. Very much new beginning. New beginning. New beginning. So it's like the wheel has turned. We've completed a cycle. We've completed um, a lesson. We've completed a chapter in our life. So maybe some friendships have come to an end. Relationships have come to an end. And that's like, that's the closure. But now we're at this beginning chapter. That's very much so what the um, the cards were calling for in August and September. That winter time was going to be that time of isolation. Some chapters were closing or near an end to closing. And then we would be in isolation and then this new beginning was coming. So it feels like now is the new beginning right around spring too, which is quite nice. So I hope you guys enjoyed your daily tarot cards for this week. Have a blessed weekend guys. Um, I have a snowstorm this weekend, so I don't want to promise anything because I don't, you know, they're saying power may go out. I don't know. I'm praying to God. It doesn't, but you know, if I'm able to come on and do some stuff again with the messages, mailing them out, I am going to get those to get together tonight. And if I'm able to get out on the road tomorrow, then I will go mail those out. If not, then it has, to, it will be next week, but which will give me time to get more um, channel messages out because I have to find some of them because I have some upstairs in my room and then I have some downstairs where I do my readings. So have a blessed weekend guys. And I will try and get on for some free uh, card pulls this weekend. Again, we're having a major snowstorm, so I don't want to promise anything that I cannot fulfill. So have a blessed weekend. We'll see you for Monday's daily tarot card. Be safe out there, anybody that's experiencing the bad storm, and have a blessed one.